welcome to what I anticipate to be a very, very uneventful repot. This is my Rene Marques crossed with Brassavola digbiana epidendrum cross that has some very pretty blooms and it is finally growing roots. I'm a little bit behind because some roots have already gotten a little longer than I like, but I say finally growing roots because much needed repot. Check this out. We have another one of those. But anyway, yeah, I'm a little bit behind, but I still have some roots that are not that long. So if I do damage, I've got backup. Normally this is not an orchid that has some kind of issues with growing roots, thankfully. So epidendrum crosses and everything being relatively tough. Look at it, it's just falling apart in my hand. I'm not too concerned, but still, you know, getting ahead of ourselves and all that business with orchids, we are always taught a lesson. So I kind of prefer to stick to a plan. And I hope she isn't, no, she's not. Like I said, a completely uneventful repot ahead. Woohoo! Lovely, lovely, jubbly. On the last day of summer, I believe. Oh, there goes a lecker bead. I'll be right back. So here we go. And I forgot a new support, which will have to get because they do grow quite tall and lanky and I have to clean out the mask because I do want to have a nice clean mask for the orchid to get back into but before I do all that let's have a look see at what we're dealing with and I finally get to remove a fern <laughs> yay because there's a lot more fern roots in here than actual epidendrum roots but we got plenty to work with and I'm thinking, actually, what I'm going to do as well is remove the back part of the orchid. I hope that all that wasn't focused because I'm really keeping an eye on all the lecker that is dropping off. But you see, that would be nice to remove. So we'll give that a go and then put it back in the same size pot and hopefully get blooms come 2023. That would be awesome. So what I'm going to do is scoot this over, change the camera angle, clear out the pot so that afterwards we can just go 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 without any interruption other than what we have to deal with beyond the hedge there is an exodus happening on the costa del sol thank you right even though this is not going to be too much drama here and i could have done all this standing up hey come on it's still nice and warm on the east side so let's just have a little sit down and a chin wag and talk about repotting and all fun things orchids and I so wish you were here we could do a repot sesh together and try to identify which supercar drives by with revving engines <laughs> oh but still well, let's get this out I'm especially excited for the fern to come off and this just is such a nice afternoon oh we can use the wire but it's going to get a sexy, sexy new support. Okay, let's keep tickling. I can see that I used standard mix of large and small lecker. That's probably why most of the roots weren't super duper happy long term. Epidendrums are very, very thirsty. So this is going to change. We're going with small lecker moving forward. That is amazing. That's going to be fabulous to change all this up. This is the first time I'm touching this root system since I got the orchid. She was very slow out of the gates when she arrived. She was one of those candidates in that poorly package. Yeah, that shipment was a nightmare in 2018. And I can tell you that if I had been doing videos then, you would have been horrified at what you saw during the unboxing, as well as the updates that would have followed for six weeks straight how I was losing orchids left, right and center based on the condition that they arrived in. Very reputable German nursery. Everybody seems to fawn over them and I still have PTSD because of them. Yeah, it was never resolved. I never heard back from them. But this was one of those orchids and like I said, slow out of the gates, but I think Oh, another lecker bead. But I think now, after four years, we are on the move. 
and I can do her justice with this new growth growing now and get the lecker ratio right so that she can grow gorgeous root system for the next time that we have to deal with the root ball. We're so excited to get this fern out. <laughs> So I have a car on idle in the background. I hope that you can still hear me. And what I'm going to do now is just trying to get into where the rhizome is, where I want to take the back part off and then do the cut. But I need to get Lekka out of the way there first because my secretors will not go through Lekka. So we are going to cut right here. That gets rid of this, this, this one, and this very long one. And I still have two growths with one left at the front. I wonder if that would be enough. You see, my thought process here is, yes, I would like to get rid of this leafless cane right here, but it's a great structure that would add support. And if I want this orchid to not have a setback moment again, yeah, we're gonna leave it. We're going to take off these three little ones back here, at least so that the orchid has something to work with and we can continue on the path of recovery as opposed to setting her back and ha, missing out one more time. So I'm just gonna clean my hands, get my secateurs and we'll deal with that. And I'm back, <laughs> and I'm back, I can't believe it. Well, I never really left, but that car on idle was just like, um, yeah, no, because if I'm gonna cut into the rhizome, I would like to at least talk about it if there's something funky going on and not be cut off in the middle of something with doors slamming, trunks going, etc. And it just so happened to be a German family. I was about to say, Entschuldigen Sie bitte, können Sie bitte Ihren Motor abschalten, damit ich weiter filmen kann? Vielen Dank. That was the plan. Anyway, they've left. We're back. Okay, let's cut into that rhizome and let's see that we get a good clean cut. One, two, three. Well, we got an eye in the back. That's cool. There we go. Let's have a look. See, why were you languishing? Was there a reason or were you just being silly? No other reason than just being silly and being stupid stuffed into a box and being crushed. That looks good to me. And now I can assess all these dead strands that I picked off back in the day. Oh, the memories of bringing my collection to the house. It's actually quite nostalgic. So anyway, we have a healthy little epidendrum and we hope to make sure it gets healthier, better and stronger. Now, I thought I had more dead roots in here than I actually do. These roots are very wiry and brittle. The only thing that is still remaining is the rem remnants of the steely that I left on back in the day to use as anchoring. That's all there is to it here. The roots that I thought were dead, like this one, they're actually alive. There's a clump at the base of the fern still here, and I want that out. It's coming! Goodbye, goodbye, good riddance! Happy to see you go, and I'm sure you'll be back, but not for a while. <laughs> I don't mind my ferns, honestly. Please don't think I hate ferns, but as we head into the colder months of the year, I'm telling you, I don't want any kind of ferns adding to humidity around the base of an orchid. They can come back in summer when their humidity is welcome. But now it's time to say goodbye. Same thing as before, but this time with an English family. And, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> 
I'm not one to interfere with what is appropriate to say to a child, but oh my goodness, that just raised my eyebrows. I'm so glad that I can edit all that out. Yeeks, I would say there. That was borderline. Mm -mm -mm. No way. Much better. Without those fern roots, oh, I feel like it can breathe again. I mean, there was still plenty of aeration in the pot, but oh, those little black roots, they... Oh, they just get to me when I unpot and it's like, yay, I got them out. And now we can start again. Let's get a pot that isn't broken. In case there's any questions, I am not keeping this piece. If it were the beginning of the growing season, I would definitely put it into an ICU setup to see if I can't propagate it. But not this time of year and especially now because I can't see any kind of viable eye action. If there was one, it's gone. No leaves. So yeah, although I do love propagating, etc., the time of year is absolutely not helpful to give this any opportunity to even begin to start a second lead somewhere else. Huh. Thank you for your service though. And there she is. But what I want to show you is I'm going to be positioning this orchid into the middle of the pot seeing as she's just been cut. Because here's an eye. I took some time to fiddle away the sheaths out here. So get some light onto this eye and see if that would activate. And we have something back here, but I don't know if the cut got too close. We shall see. I think this one's the better option right there. And then there's something on this side, could be dormant, could be dead. It's probably just sleeping. So we still have options and that's why I'm gonna put her right bang smack in the middle of the pot. flush through with plain RO water just to release any debris that might get still caught up in there. And this orchid has had everything it needed for some nutrients and supplements leading up to this repot. So I can just fill the reservoir with gorgeous, gorgeous fresh RO water. And that would be it. She's nice and low in the pot. I like it that way. Gives me the opportunity in the future to also add lecker if need be. If I see any roots or future growths coming out a little bit too high for my liking. But for now, I love her position. I could have centered her a little bit better into the middle. However, there were roots at this end that were tough. They were viable and they were restricting me from bringing her in even further into the middle of the pot. This should be okay for another three years. If she continues with the same rhythm with one growth per year, that'll definitely take us into three years. If she then chooses to maybe activate this eye, oh well, we'll still have three years, but woo-hoo, this pot is not gonna disintegrate in my hands. A very uneventful repot, but I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. It doesn't always have to be drama in the orchid hobby. We get enough of that thrown at us that we try to deal with. It is so nice to be able to repot an orchid and just, you know, chill out and hang out together. Which brings me to say a massive thank you to you for hanging out with me. It was fun and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to wish you a beautiful day on one condition though. Please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.